Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host, David Tare. As you can see, I'm on vacation again. I'm staying with my cousin in Cleveland. Uh, her sister just got married a few months ago, and we uh, had a wedding reception for her. Um, it was really nice, and uh, um, I'm going to be coming back tomorrow, uh, probably resume on Wednesday. I'm going to I'm gonna try to catch up, because... Uh, you know, I didn't do any uh, the last couple days, and uh, I'm going to do try to do two today. This is the first I'm going to do. So I'm up to song number 2721, and that one is Basket Case by Green Day. And uh, this was featured on, this uh, was released in 1994. Uh, I believe it went to number 26, and it was also released on their album called Dookie. And... Uh, um, I guess I'll talk about the song first. Uh, the only reason I really know about this song is because, uh, you know, like the one I featured a few days ago, I featured another punk rock song. This was a kind of a punk rock band, Green Day. Um, you know, they, they, they were forming, I'll get into them later, but, um, I remember when I was living in Holland back in 1995, this was another song they were playing on MTV Europe uh, when I was there along with... Um, self-esteem by the offspring so those were kind of two uh, punk rock songs I got into at the time I don't listen to a lot of punk rock but I did like these two songs so I guess that's why I'm featuring it uh, and it's a good song I mean it's a you know it's a, it's a little like self-esteem it's about a really insecure guy who's getting therapy I guess he's uh, he's very um, um, he's got a lot of anxiety worried about a lot of things in his life uh, I think he's, you know, he talks about how he went to a shrink, and a shrink said lacks of, lacks of sex is bringing him down. Then he went to a whore who said his life was a bore. I mean, kind of got a messed up life, it sounds like. But, you know, I can relate, because uh, I had a lot of the same problems myself when I was growing up, and I'm sure there are a lot of other people in that same situation or similar situation. So, not a bad song, you know. And uh, I think pretty good as far as punk rock goes. I don't even know if I'd call it punk. I don't know what I'd call it. You know, I mean, I guess some punk is good. Most of the punk I've heard is pretty bad. Um, but I think these guys are pretty good. So I do kind of like the song, which is why I put it on my list. And I guess now I'll talk about the band uh, Green Day. Oh, yeah, this is a picture of the album. I think I just showed that. So here's a picture of Green Day kind of early on. And they were formed in uh, Rodeo, California. I don't even know exactly where that is. I think it's in the Bay Area somewhere near San Francisco. They were formed in 1987, and they're still around today. I mean, I'm not that familiar with their music, but they had a lot of hits. And I'm going to go through their Oh, yeah, I guess I should mention the members. So uh, at least the original members uh, included the founders, uh, uh, Billy Joe Armstrong, he was the lead singer and also the guitarist. And then Mike Dent, he was the other founder, and he was a backing vocalist, and he played bass. Uh, and then there was also Trey Cool. He joined in 1990 and played drums. I guess those were the three members. They had a few other members over the years. I think these are the only three remaining members. Uh, like I said, they're still around today. So they had a lot of hits. I mean... I'm just going to go through them all. In 1994, the first hit was called Longview. That went to number 36. Uh, they had Basket Case, the one I'm featuring today. Went to number 26. They had Welcome to Paradise, which went to 56. In 1995, they had When I Come Around, which went to number 6. They had J-A-R, which went to 22. Geek Stink uh, Breath, Geek Stink Breath, which went to 27. Um, 1996, they had Brain Stew slash Jaded, which went to 35. 1997, they had Hitchin' a Ride, which went to 59. Good Riddance, Time of Your Life, which went to 11. I think I do know that one, but it's not on my list. In 2004, they had American Idiot, which went to 61. And Boulevard of Broken Dreams, which went to number 2. In 20, 2005, they had Holiday, which went to 19. And Wake Me Up When September Ends, which went to um, 6. And then uh, 2006, they had The Saints Are Coming. This was along with U2. Um, that went to number 51. And then they had a Working Class Hero, which went to 53. 
And then uh, in 2009, they had Know Your Enemy, which went to 28, and 21 Guns, which went to 22. Um, in uh, 2012, they had Oh Love, which went to 97. 2020, uh, you know, I guess they had three number ones in, in this decade. I'm kind of surprised by this. I don't know any of these songs. But in 2020, they had Oh Yeah, that was their first number one. 2021, they had Pollyanna, which went to 27. 2023, they had uh, The American Dream is Killing Me. That was their second number one. And Dilemma, that was their third number one. And then this year, they had a song called Bobby Socks, which went to 11. So, very successful band. And I only know a couple of their hits. So, you know, I don't follow a lot of new music. I guess most of their music is a little too recent. I just haven't really followed them. But I do like the song I featured today, uh, Basket Case. And I'm sure a lot of their other songs are really good, too. So maybe I should listen to more of them. But anyway, that concludes my feature on, uh, on Basket Case by Green D Day. Thank you for watching. You guys rock, and I'll see you next time. Bye.